Okay, why is no one talking about this? I mean, no one is literally talking about this. Hey guys, Maestro here, and I want to show you the best free collection of 10 with CSS components you can use in your next project. You have a lot of components for things like forms, breadcrumbs, button, button groups, anything you want, anything you need. Okay, so let's get started. Now, this collection I'm talking about is actually HyperUI, and it's located at hyperuhi.dev. Now, before we actually start or do anything, I actually want to give a big shout out and thumbs up to the creator of HyperUI, which is MacMate. Or is it MacMate? Sorry if I didn't pronounce that correctly. But this guy actually created something awesome, and it's something I've actually used a lot, a lot, and I feel like I need to give a shout out to this guy. I mean, it's just so amazing. So you can head over to his GitHub profile to follow him, perhaps to keep up to date on his activities and some of his amazing projects. All right, so let's get started. So how does this guy actually work? Okay, so HyperUI, you just come right here. You come to the particular category you actually need. Everything has been grouped. Okay, so we have the application UI and then we have marketing and you can just go right here to anything you actually need and you can just, all you just have to do is copy and paste. Everything is in html and they are already start for you with them with css all right we can see it right there okay we can view the code right there okay so let's say you just want to inspect how how did this guy do this particular thing or how is this particular element this particular component done okay you can see it right there and we can see it okay toggle the light mode and the dark mode which is actually real nice we can see that okay they are all responsive we have the light mode and the dark mode for each and every one of those components okay so ltr right here okay this is this is looking nice you can and change this to mobile okay small medium large full nice all right so let's quickly see how this actually looks like i mean we can play around with some of these all right so i'm just going to copy this particular html right here and i'm going to come to them with play okay let's paste this right here okay we can see this all right to make things a little more um what's it called in this case so i'm just going to add a div and inside of this div let's just let's just add something like okay class and I want a background of BG, um, gray, I don't know, maybe 200. And I'm going to say wind, okay, and H4. All right, so let's actually do that. And I'm just going to paste this in right here. All right, I'm not getting the what I want. So I think all I just have to do is I'm just going to say we screen. And then let's just do this H screen. Okay, so the next thing I actually want to do is let's just add a flex and then justify center and then um align center no item center all right so we can see it right there this is actually looking nice and you can also customize everything here as needed this is this is this is great this is just just so great all right so let's actually look at all that ui and the best part is you can just also search for whatever it is you actually need uh let's try and play around with form okay we have two forms right here i think out of the two i think i actually prefer this so let's copy this i'm just going to um paste this right here and we can see this is very responsive and this is this is actually nice you can also customize it and note okay for this particular one right here it's mentioned that okay we need the plugin thing with css form it requires that with css uh, from plugin and that is why some stars are not showing exactly the way they actually are right here all right but that's not a problem to fix that issue in turn with play all you just have to do is come back right here and inside of the config section i'm going to just add the thing with css from plugin and we can see that okay everything displays nicely the exact way it was supposed to now here's another quick note let's say you're working with a specific framework maybe a framework that uses jsx like react react solid js quick and any of the meta frameworks you can also click on this drop down and you can see the option for the jsx code and let's see that and let's view the code we can see that it has been transformed into jsx and also if you're working with maybe Vue.js or Nuxt, well you can Click here and it's going to transform that into a Vue.js code. We can see the template right here and it looks okay. But right now we are going to stick with HTML since we are basically testing HTML how to turn with play. Okay, those are just some extra things you should note. So let's continue. And let's look at some other components or some other elements. All right, we have the checkboxes right here. Okay, they look nice. That's actually looking, looking great. We can see right here, we can play around with 
some of this and i think some other parts that actually make sense are not the actual ui component but a group of components that actually more more or less like full pages or something so if you come right here let's say for example i can come to maybe for example the search for hero okay that's not displaying but i know they have um some collection of hero comp okay let's check this section component all right we can see this by the, this um section so essentially you can build a full page by just copying and pasting some of this component all right so let's move on okay we can see we have block cards right there okay so you can just when building a block you don't want to start spending too much time on styling some of this one after the order all right we can see we have all of these and they actually look real nice and slick okay let's move on we have these error pages which i want us to check out all right so we have error pages right there so we can see simple one 404 i've used some of these like in some of my applications multiple times i can't really count how many times i've actually made use of some of these components now stay with me let's look at the input components okay so we have the regular one right there this is nice okay we have the ones with icon we have okay with button in input we have this now one i want to show you is this one right there with floating label and if we click on it we can see it just looks like the material design and this is actually crazy the first time i saw this because i remember then i was actually working on a project in react and next just to be precise and i was making use of material ui and what material ui is fine i think in most cases it's messy it is just not what i want and sometimes very hard to customize well with this i just had to copy this and make it into a component of my own and which i can basically reuse inside of react and this is very nice if you look at the html right here we can see this is just this is just so so nice i have nothing to say about that this is this is this is just awesome okay we can see with floating label inside right here okay with floating label on the line so basically all the styles of the material input material design we we can see it right here all done with just still with css i mean this is this is this is real nice so you can essentially just come right here and look at all of the components anyone that you might actually need okay for example we can see right here these testimonials okay i mean there are just a lot of things to actually show you okay this is the header right here we have header components and all right you can just copy this and you just get started with your project i mean i can't emphasize this enough all you just have to do is copy paste and you can build your own full project at least the front end with just a little bit of copy paste and customization all right so we can see okay we have the hyper ui dev blog you can just check this out they have some few amazing articles and then we have the shop oh this is new i've not seen this before okay so essentially you can purchase this hyper ui clone with next.js then with css and mdx all right this is actually real nice and very 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 amazing so you can just pay six dollars and you have a copy of this particular component and then this tips and tricks and experiment for thermal CSS is also very nice you know that this guy actually knows what he's doing and what he's talking about so just give it a try so what do you guys think will you be using hyper you high thermal CSS component in your next project let me know in the comment section below and if there are any more tips and tricks or any more amazing tools videos or resources like this that you will actually want me to make a video about just leave a comment down below don't forget to like share and subscribe and i'm going to see you in the next one bye